Hi, I'm learning Landon and I'm learning a lot. I was assigned an art history project. I picked Albert Burstalt. I also picked to try and recreate his painting, Domes of Yosemite. Things that I learned in this project are that if you fold the paper that your art is on, you can grid it. Also, that you can color block things, which is where you make basic colors where places in your art are going to be. And that I learned when color blocking, do the lighter colors before the darker colors. And that you can use a downward jabbing motion with your paintbrush to create a effect that gives it some texture. This is the end of the first day. Moving on to the second day, the second day was all about adding details. Here I am adding cracks. After I was finished the cracks, I moved on to the waterfall, which I made by using an old toothbrush and some high quality paint to create texture that made it look like a waterfall. I also used finger painting to create the mist at the bottom of the waterfall because finger, finger painting is actually useful. When adding the trees, what made them look good was adding shadows under them. Next, I created the water and using an old oil tool, I added a bunch of fairly hard paint and put it on to create wave-like textures. I added shadows under the waves to give it some personality and make it look more like waves. Next, I added the river and some meadows in the valley and I used finger painting again to spread it out. And I also added little dots which were supposed to be trees, which you can see I am doing here. Here is the end of the second day. This is what I got done. The thing about the mountain in the background was it was the last chance to mess it up, which is why we called it Mountain of Doom. Here I am making my wash and testing it. The wash can be used for shadows and is the main reason I was making it. Here I am adding shadows to my mountain. After I was done adding the shadows to my mountain, I worked on the finishing touches. This is the finished picture of day three.
I like my painting and I learned a lot in this project. Some other things that I learned in this project was that I learned how to make a video on iMovie. These are some things that I know how to do. Here I'm splitting an audio clip, which is the green bar under the pictures, and taking it out. 